is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries. This is a timeless read, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Um, we are reading for general love September, okay? Not necessarily a twin flame reading. This is just a love reading. If a twin flame card comes out, and I feel like this is a twin flame connection, don't worry, I won't hesitate to let you know. That's what I think it is. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Aries. What do we got for Aries? Aries. What does Aries need to know about their love life right now? Nine of Wands. Woo. The card flew out. Nine of Swords. What is going on? Lots of Nines, Aries. <clears throat> so you're almost done with this, completing this cycle <laughs> for whatever it's worth. I don't see anything good coming out, though, honestly. So we have Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Somebody feeling like they cannot open up. They're feeling very defensive. Um, and it's causing them a lot of anxiety. Some kind of connection is causing someone to go on the defense, feeling like they're a wounded warrior. They're guarding their heart. And it's making them have lots of anxiety. This doesn't feel like a very good connection, right? <laughs> right off the bat. We have Wounded Warrior and we have anxiety. Nightmares, right? Nine of Swords is about anxiety. Um, nightmares. Stress. So this could be your energy or your person. One of you is not opening up because they're anxious about it. Now we have three of pentacles. So there could be a third party energy. Either one or either of you is involved loosely with someone. Or maybe you just think they are or they think you are. Right? I don't know. Anytime threes come out in the love reading... You know, unless it's three of cups, to me, it always feels like third party. <clears throat> so maybe you guys are not, you know, involved with someone, but one of you thinks the other is. That could be what's causing the anxiety, right? We have page of cups, imagination. So someone does want to offer you a, 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 an offer of love in spite of this. So, you know, maybe, you know, the nine of swords came out with the three of pentacles, so even though they're anxious because they feel like you might be involved with someone or they feel like you have options, maybe, maybe they think you're with someone, they still want to offer you some love, Aries. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else we can divine from this. Hmm. Trust, King of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So they trust you. It says trust. Um, but they feel like even though they can trust you, they were they're worried that you have options. I think that's what it is. Or they're worried that you're with someone and you're not single. And so they're afraid to offer you this cup. <clears throat> but they've been dreaming about it for a really long time. And they have a very stable energy. The King of Pentacles, you know, is someone who's wealthy, someone who's patient, someone who's kind. Mm. 
Okay, let's get one final card. So what's going to be the outcome? This one came out, but <clears throat> it didn't come out. It just got bent. So it wanted to come out. It was judgment, self-reflection, but it didn't fully come out. So I'm not going to take it. I've been following my intuition and just like shuffling until I feel like I need to stop. And then I'll just pick the card like that. And it's been working for me pretty well. So Final outcome between these two. What is it going to be? Knight of Wands activities. So yeah, see, they are going to come forward. They've been dreaming about this offer for a really long time. And the Knight of Wands, it's activity. So it shows me they are going to come forward. They will come forward. <clears throat> I don't know when, but they will come forward. And I feel like it's going to be a good connection. See, we got two turtles here. We got two seahorses here. Everything is in pairs, right? So yeah, I feel like it's going to be a good connection. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say about this connection. Okay. What do the romance angels have to say about this connection that Aries is feeling with someone? Yeah, someone's definitely been feeling this way for you for a long time, Aries. They feel, it feels a little lovesick. I want to say, I keep hearing lovesick. I want to say they're lovesick. <clears throat> and I feel like they've been holding on to these feelings for a while. So they're going to make a move. But they're going to be slow about it. Like, I feel like they're not going to, they might not come forward right away. <clears throat> There's this slow moving energy. The King of Pentacles is one of the slowest kings in the Zodiac. You know, in the in the tarot deck, I meant, meant to say, not Zodiac. <clears throat> so, but we did get Knight of Wands, so they might make their move quickly. Who knows? I don't know. Deception. See? Told you they've been holding on to feelings for a long time. It says someone's wearing a false mask. <clears throat> they've been hiding how they feel for a long time. For some of you, this is a friend. Or it's someone you know and you just, you have no idea that they have feelings for you. That's what it is. What else? Getting to know each other. So they're going to take, they're going to take it to the next level. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. So <coughs> if you guys are just friends, they want to be more than friends. They want to get to know you more. For some of you, this is going to be a coworker. It feels like. Someone that you might work with. Maybe that's why they haven't came forward. Maybe they are a co-worker and they've been worried about it. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's. I feel like I want to get one more. Let's get one more for Aries. And then we're going to move on to the Wheel of Light. Or the Wheel of Light. Why did I say that? Wheel of Life. That's weird. <clears throat> Maybe some of you are in that, that Wheel of Fortune energy. Right? The, the Wheel Ooh, look what flipped out. Passion. Yes, this person is going to match your passion, Aries. They're very passionate about you. There's going to be a lot of fire. It's going to be a lot of sex. Wow. <coughs> okay, we're going to move on to... Why did I call this the Wheel of Fort? I don't know. Wheel of Life. It's <clears throat> the Conscious Spirit Oracle. I don't know why I said that. Probably because this is on the bottom of the deck. It's the Wheel of Life. Okay, so let's get your spirit message. And then we're going to see what um, spirit guide is aiding you and your love interest. And then we're going to end with a career card for you, Aries. All right, what is the spirit message for Aries, please? What is the spirit message for Aries? These readings are going to be short and sweet. I'm going to try to keep them under 15 minutes, guys. All right. What does Aries need to know? What else does Aries need to know about this love interest? What is the message that Spirit has for Aries about this love interest? How can they bring this in faster? Let's do two cards. Spirit guides. Speaking of which, 25. Open your heart. It says open your heart to your guides and trust in the wisdom that they're sharing you. So follow the paths from your spirit guides. Okay, 25, you add it up, it's number seven. 
So some of you are going to be really lucky in love this month in September. Follow the guidance from your spirit guides. As I was talking about your spirit guides, the spirit guide card came up. Can't make it up, Aries. <clears throat> Follow the advice from your spirit guides, okay? And balance. Balance your energy, okay? I understand and embrace the opposing forces in life that bring about balance. So balance your light and your dark. Balance your yin and your yang. This is a yin-yang sign. This has been coming out for a lot of the signs. Once you find the balance within yourself, it's going to radiate out into your reality because, you know, whatever's going on within you is going to go on without you. Like, you know, as within, so without. That's what they say. As above, so below. That's what that means. So whatever is, is going on inside of you, it's going to reflect out into your outer reality. Once you achieve that balance, you're going to meet your person. <clears throat> or you, I feel like you've already met your person, but they're going to come forward. It's going to help bring them in faster. Does that make sense? So that's the advice and spirit. You got number 29, balance. Um, that's number 11. So this very well could be a twin flame relationship. 11 to me represents twin flames. 11, 11 or 11. So you very well could... They could be like a runner chaser dynamic. Maybe they, they haven't told you how they felt. Oh, we're not going to do this yet. Yeah, we can do this one, I guess. Um, you know, and they haven't came forward or, you know, you're in separation because you didn't realize that they had feelings for you, but they've been burning a torch for you for a long time, Aries. All right, let's do a career card for you, advice from your career angels, and then we'll see the spirit guide, which is helping you and your love connection. And we'll call it a reading. <clears throat> what is your career advice for Aries, please? What is your major career advice for Aries? We'll do two career cards for you. Okay. Two career cards for Aries, please. What's going to help Aries most in their career, please? Angels, spirit guides for Aries. Thank you for allowing me to do the clearest channel for source messages. All right, they want you to face your financial fears, Aries. Um, it says, be honest about your fears about success or failure. So that way they can no longer control you. Um, once you realize that, you know, there's no such thing as failure, whether you fail or you succeed, it doesn't matter. It's about facing that fear of failure, okay? You're never going to succeed at anything if you don't try, Okay, so if you're afraid of failing and so you never get started, then how will you ever know if you're going to succeed if you don't ever try to succeed, right? So let yourself feel that fear, but do it anyways. Even if you're scared, you got this, Aries. You can still face your fears and just do it scared. I do a lot of things scared, honestly. I'm a scaredy cat. <laughs> I really am. I'm like the, the scariest pussycat Leo you'll ever meet, Aries, for real. And I'm scared of everything, but I just do everything scared. Mm -hmm. And then it says, hold on one second. Okay, so another card we got for your um, career, it says, detox your friendships. It says your abundance flow is being affected by people with whom you're spending time. So be mindful of who you're giving your energy to. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, sorry about that, Aries. My goodness, sometimes I swear it's hard to be a mom and work. It really is. It's, I don't let it stop me though. So we're going to continue. So spirit wants you to be discerning about your relationships, your friendships. They want you to be with people who inspire you, who are creative, who, who support you, those that are generous with their time as well. You know, you don't want to be giving your time to people who don't appreciate your time. Okay, so yes, they want you to be discerning about who you're giving your time to because sometimes people will purposely hold you back. And sometimes people do it on accident because they're jealous or whatever reason. They're not at your level. And so, Lundy, go out there, please. Or they're, or they're not at your level. And they want to, they want what you have. And so you have to be discerning about who you decide to share your energy with. Okay. Okay, Aries, the last card that we're going to draw for you is, um, 
the spirit guide that is working with you and your connection. Um, for some of you too, with this card, I just noticed that there's children on here. So some of you have fears about being able to take care of your children and just know that <clears throat> when you're following your passion, you know, you're bound to succeed. It doesn't matter if right now it's not making you any money financially. If you're doing what you love, it's going to pay off. Okay, just keep going, you know, put aside savings when you need to and trust that the divine is going to take care of you, whatever, you know, whatever entity you believe in, whether that's God, whether that's source, you know, um, whether it's the universe, whatever, Jesus, you know, whatever it is, trust that you're taking care of. The universe wants to take care of you, okay? <clears throat> the universe wants to take care of all of us. We just have to, you know, be able to receive that energy of love that's always there, you know? All right. But I do understand that because I have three kids too. And that's, you know, I struggle with that financial fear as well. I mean, we all do, right? We're all humans. <clears throat> we're all souls, but we're also having a human experience, so... All right, what is the spirit guide that is helping Aries with this connection? And what do, what do they want Aries to know? What's the final message for Aries? What is the final message for Aries? What is the spirit guide working with Aries? That card flew out. So I know that's yours. Ooh, it's a dragon guide, Aries. <clears throat> the dragon's duel. Inner conflict, morality, and conscious choice. So you have a dragon guide. Um, you have two. There's one that's white or like a silvery. Um, more like a silver. I guess I was going to say white, but it's more like a silver white. And you have a blue one. And both of them are fighting for your attention um they're they're <clears throat> so there's some kind of so these two dragon guides only come up and they only fight each other when you're fighting something within yourself so there's some sort of inner conflict um something you know in regards to maybe like your moral standards um and some kind of choice that you feel like you have to make that is causing these two dragons to be at each other's throat, okay? And in reality, they're both a part of you, Aries. So once you stop fighting yourself and you make a choice in regards to this connection, all of the inner, all of the conflicts are going to stop. You're going to have inner peace. And I feel like this connection will, will, I can't even talk. Mercury, I swear to God. Is it still in retrograde? I can't even talk. Um, things will unfold smoothly with this person. You have number 23. If you add it up, it's five. So this connection, if it's been platonic, it's going to change. There's going to be a change in this connection. And it's going to be significant, Aries. Let's just see how it unfolds. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aries. If you'd like a book or reading with me, all of my information is in the description box. Just click on the link that says Goldie Appointment Fix and let me know what time and what reading you'd like. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Bye.